Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm actually doing my Boxy Charm regular box. Um, I know it's late, but I'm assuming because of the virus that um, the boxes didn't get out like they should have. I have had this for a couple days, but um, yeah, I wasn't able to film. So anyway, I didn't get a card, so I wrote all the products down. So anyway, if that sounds interesting to you, then just keep on watching and we'll try on some of this stuff and I'll just talk about the price while we do it. First thing I'm going to touch on briefly is the English Laundry Perfume. Um, from what I can see, this is pretty expensive, like a 1.7 ounce would be $69, a 3.4 ounce would be $89.99, and I think this little one would be like 18 bucks, if I'm not mistaken, but it was really hard to figure. Anyway, I get migraines, there's no way I'm even thinking about yeah, there's no way. I, uh, that would be bad for my head. And my daughter will be happy, though. She loves perfume. So I'm just touching on, like I said, touching on that quickly. And, yeah, we're going to move along. The next thing is the Hourglass Vanish Stick um, Highlighter. This baby retails for $42. I did pick this for my choice item and of course I got pink haze the one color I wear the least but anyway this is what the packaging looks like it's heavy and luxe feeling um, let's give her a swatch shall we I mean it's pretty but again I don't wear a whole lot of pinky highlights, but I wonder if you sheer it out how pinky it would look. It might not be bad. We'll see. The next thing is the Wander Beauty Dust to Dawn palette. This is a blush and highlighting palette. This retails for $26. And this is what the packaging looks like. And what? That's a that's a blush and highlight palette. How do you get your brushes in there? I mean, I could get a highlight brush in there, but okay. Interesting colors too. Let's swatch these. They feel really dry and powdery, so we shall see. How they oh that middle one is almost like a duochrome situation that's kind of cool okay we'll see all right and last but not least is by beauty creations the cali chick palette this baby retails for $14.99 and is this really? Oh no, this isn't the last thing. I do have one more thing. Okay, I'm going to take the little card out. It does come with a mirror for your $14. And that is the color story. So, maybe we'll do like a smoky cat eye type situation. Okay, this last thing is by Blink. Blink. Hmm. It's called a lash primer. Uh, I don't know anything about this, but I did get a lash primer in, back when I was getting Sephora Play, and um, this baby retails for $26, by the way. Anyway, I used it once or twice and never used it again, but hey, we'll try this one and see how it goes. So yeah, let me prime my eyes and we'll start trying stuff on.
Does that sound good? All right, so I'm going to start out with the Luxie 250 a Large Eye Blending Brush. And let's go into some Venice right here. And use this as our transition. Pretty much the same tone as my skin. So it's not going to make a huge difference. Now I'm going to take a Royal Lang BMX 430 crease brush and I'm going to pick up some, let's be bold, let's go, let's go straight into the sunset shade. Maybe we'll do like a foxy eye that seems to be so popular right now. Try to, cat eye, foxy eye. So how have you guys been doing lately? I know Florida is opening back up. I'd love to know, are they opening anything up in the state where you're at? Because they're opening stuff up here in Florida. It's kind of cool. Um, I'm not going to lie. I'm happy. I'm tired of feeling locked down. They seem to blend pretty nice. Oh my gosh, we got a golf cart this weekend. And Thomas laughs and giggles when we take him out in it. It is so cute. He loves riding in it. I'm so glad we got it for him. Plus it'll help. When I have to go up to the office and do laundry and stuff like that, it's easier to get him in and out of the golf cart for me. And yeah, he likes riding in it, so I'm kind of going to wing this up a little. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm trying to be quiet so I don't wake him up, but it sounds like he's stirring back there. But that's okay, if he makes too much noise, I'll just turn this into a voiceover, so there's that. I'm going to take this tiny BH number 6 from the White Handle Collection, and I'm going to pick up some Beach Babe right here, and further deepen up this outer V, and slightly into the crease. I'm using a very light hand. These shadows almost have like a shimmer to them. It's not much darker than that last shade we used, that sunset shade, at least not on the eye. But it does seem to be blending decent, so that's cool. I'm gonna go back with that second brush we used, so I'm not putting any more product and just try to blend this up just a little bit more. I don't know, can you guys see much of a transition in these shades? Maybe we'll go a little bit in with that darkest shade in the palette. Yeah. I'm going to take this Moda Royal and Lang BMX 420 detailed brush. It's a little tinier and there is some kick up in the pan, but I'm not getting a whole, whole I'm getting a little fall out, not bad. Anyway, I'm going to go into this Laguna shade and really start smoking this out. Or not really start smoking it out. Kind of weird. It 
if you can see right here, I always have trouble getting pigment to stick there, but my eyeliner usually covers it, so I don't worry a whole lot about it. Not sure why my eye does that, but it does. Yeah, see, because it didn't do it to the side of my eye. But it's definitely doing it on this side. I don't know. I'm going to go back with that very first brush and just blend over all of this very gently. And I think I'm going to run and grab my I my I melt eyeliner, the brown one I got. I don't remember the name right off the I think I'm gonna use that today. Maybe. Anyway, BRB. All right, so I'm gonna take some of my NYX glitter primer on my ColourPop E3 brush, and ooh, I got too much. Nah, I. Give these shimmers a fair shot, just like I do with all my shimmers, if you're new here. Now, I think I'm going to go in with some, let's try some boardwalk right here. Just using that same color pop brush, just the opposite side. Start stamping this on. Ooh, it's pretty. My lighting's probably way worse than even usual today because I rely a lot on the sun, and there is no sun here in Florida today. It is a rain as we are getting a tropical front going through, but it is what it is. I hope you guys still... I don't get a whole lot of views on my BoxyCharm videos anyway. Probably because I don't praise BoxyCharm. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to take and just uh, flip that brush over and pick up some of this sail shade right here. That darkest of the shimmer and kind of put this on this outer portion and just go back and forth till you like it. Alright, so I think I'm going to take my finger into a little bit of this one right here. That's what it looks like. And I'm going to marry those two shades together with that. And just to brighten up the center of my eye a little. Oh yeah. Yes. Alright. Let me find my eyeliner brush. Alright, before we dive into eyeliner, I want to pick up some more of that Laguna shade. And just... marry this in a little more. Alright, so I'm going to take some Spliff from Melt Cosmetics and use my BH Pro number 12. It's just a eyeliner brush. And these are so, so soft. So soft to work with. But they're stunning. There, let's see if I can get my wing right. God help me. I need it. Okay, I'm highly doubting these are even, but... Let's see how bad we did. Oh, it's not bad. And you can see I have a little fallout. Let me clean my face up, get rid of this fallout, and get Thomas up, God help us all. 
If I have to voice over the rest of it, I will. And I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm back. I have foundation, concealer, contour, bronzer, all that good stuff on. I haven't done the cheeks yet or my buffing because you guys know if you're not new here how my routine goes. So yeah, let's dive in to... Oh, I'm using the mm -hmm. Fenty uh, um, Full Frontal Mascara and the Boxy Charm <coughs> Lily Lash Collaboration in CEO, some of my favorite lashes. So, all products will be listed in the description box though. So, yeah, let's do this lower lash line, shall we? So, I'm going to start out with this random angled brush and go into that Lacuna shade. And I am going to put this up. Out on the outer quarter. As you can hear, the monster is awake. <laughs> Again, I take my Sigma E30 pencil brush into Beach Babe and make sure I tap it off. Do across the rest of that lower lash line. <laughs> hella eye water and issues but here we are so I'm just gonna take that Royal and Lang nickel brush that we used in that sunset shade and just mm. boop, 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 like tap to mm. buff these out mm. make her smoky smoky mm. smoky smoky Thomas mm. we got him a golf cart mm. this weekend Mm. And he loves going for rides. He giggles mm. so much. Shh. He giggles so much. It's so cool. But <laughs> for those of you that don't know, Thomas is my special needs child. He is now 18 years old, but he's like a baby. So anyway, that gets you caught up. <laughs> BH number 10 from the White Handle Collection. I want to see what this... Malibu shade, this like goldy shade. I hope I'm not gonna mess up this eye look because mm -hmm. I'll be mad. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna pop this on the inner corner mm -hmm. just so we can say we use pretty much every shade in the palette mm -hmm. except for Marina. Mm -hmm. But yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm not mad at that. I like that. Drag it down the bottom here a little. What do you guys think? Alright, let me pick out an eyeliner and hit up some mascara on my lower lash line and we'll check out this cheap blush palette. And I forgot about the highlight. So I think I'm going to take Starfire from Urban Decay. I hope this looks as good as I'm thinking because I was thinking nude at first and then I saw this and was like, ooh, let's try that. Okay, okay. I'm happy with that. And of course we're going to hit up those lower lashes with that full frontal. I have so many new mascaras that I'm not keeping these names straight well. But I like this one so far. Mm -hmm. Yes! I freaking love what that does to my lashes. Hey! Woo! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, let's try out this blush and highlighter palette. Mm -hmm. I don't need an ovation, thank you very much. Mm. Alright, so I got one of my tiniest brushes, which is another one from that Moda collection. Uh, I don't see numbers, but it's a tiny little angled brush. Okay, so I kind of low-key want to try out this one right here. Mm. And hopefully his... Mm. Oh, that's powdery too. But let's mm. see. 
Mm. Okay. Mm. Oh, I can see that duochrome mm. effect even on mm -hmm. my cheek. Hang on, let me turn the lights down and see if you guys can see this. Mm. Mm. No, it's too cloudy today. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I can definitely see that duochrome. Mm. Shh, 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 shh. I'm not mad at that. I think I'm going to dip into just a tiny bit of Havana Nights. And just add a hint mm. of it. Ooh, okay. Mm. That's kind of pretty. And these highlighters do not need... I'm just like tapping. Mm. So... Mm. That's pretty. And you could still see the sheen from that first one mm. we put on. Mm. Okay, that's a little more blush than I had planned for today, but mm. that's the breaks. I'm going to take the J03, the Jaclyn Hill fan brush. I'm still getting an ovation into mm. that city light and hope this is not too dark for me. Really hope. Yeah. And just focus that on that high point of my cheek. A little on the brow. I mean the forehead. I was thinking about putting this on my brow bone too. Yeah. Um, not sure how I feel about that. What do you guys think? Kind of a little dark for me, I think. Mm. Let me try. Hold on. Mm. Let me try on my clean side of my beauty blender. <laughs> I'm going to pick up some of this hourglass and see how that looks on my nose and my cupid's bow. change this just a little more just a little more pinky what do you guys think I like that that lightened it up a little yes okay what do you guys think? Mm -hmm. All right, let me spray my face down. I am using my watermelon glue, and then I'll buff and pick out a lip, and we'll be back with some final thoughts. Mm -hmm. Sound good? Mm -hmm. Thank God. Okay, so Morphe had that 50% off the Jaclyn Hill uh, collection stuff, so I did go ahead and get the Brighten Up one which is supposed to be kind of peachy. And I did want you guys to see me trying this out because why waste a try-on with a video, right? Why not? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Normally I buff before mm -hmm. I highlight, but I got ahead of myself, so that's mm -hmm. okay though. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Ooh. Yes. Mm. I like that. What do you guys think? Mm. Okay. Mm. Final thoughts. Mm. Editing Teresa. Mm. If you guys have ever tried the Broadway lash glue that I picked up in Dollar General because mm. this stuff never lets my lashes stay on and this stuff clumps them so bad 
I literally spent 15 minutes cleaning this crap out of my lashes. And it takes 100 years to dry. So, please, I need some good lash glue. I need it to come in the mail really fast. Alright, so this... It's the final look. What do you guys think? I'm not mad at it. Okay, while doing my math, I realized I forgot to use the lash primer. I told you guys. I will try to remember to use this in the next few days and let you know what I think of it in a video and yeah sorry but other than that um, the hourglass um, highlighter I can say that um, I kind of like it actually it's not incredibly pinky once you get it on so this is this is okay for me not for $42 Pretty much the only thing I stand by with Hourglass and their expensive prices is um, the Hourglass Veil Primer. I love that stuff. I have repurchased it a couple of times already. So, there's that. As far as the Wonder Beauty Blush Palette, um, let's see. The Wander Beauty, $26. I would never pay $26 for this. Are they pretty? Yes, absolutely. But when you're getting these pan sizes for $26, no. That, I don't feel good about that. Uh, let's see, does it say uh, 3 times 2 point? So they're 2.2 grams in each one of those, but I hate the I even hate the the skinny squares and I think this highlighter is way too dark for me personally of what I like in a highlighter at least so I would I would skip on that but I think it was cool that I got to try it for twenty five dollars because this is the twenty five dollar box month um as far as the Cali Chick palette um. I think that everything seemed to blend nicely. I wish there was a little more contrast difference in these shades down here, in the shades down here. I, I wish there was a little more where you could kind of see, but they built on each other nicely. It's just they seem to have turned to all one color. And this shade right here, I wish it would have been just a little bit darker you know what I mean but it's it's not a bad palette especially if you consider this is a $15 palette oh, well it's $14.99 but I put it in as $15 that's that's the way I work I hope you don't mind um the English laundry uh yuck not a chance in hell no I I wouldn't even put that on if it, if I wasn't <laughs> almost positive that it would give me migraines because I didn't enjoy the smell of it personally. That's personal opinion. If you like it, great. That's awesome. I hope you got Boxy Charm and got it in your box. But I would have much rather had anything else that they were giving away. Any anything. I I, I would have rather had skincare. And you guys that have been watching me know how I feel about getting skincare every single month, except for this one. Thank God. But, of course, I get a perfume, which is even worse. So, anyway, so when I added everything together, I got $127. Again, BoxyCharm's regular base box is $25 a month. So, for $25, I get to try, uh, you know, a bunch of different products that I probably would not have just off-rip ordered. Especially, like I said, that highlighter from Hourglass is, is $42. <laughs> Holy cow, $42. Anyway, that being said, I'm going to give this box probably a 3 out of a 4. Because 
The things I liked were a $14 palette, uh, a highlighter that's extremely overpriced in my opinion, and I forgot to use the lash primer, so that tells you how I feel about it. I do like this cheek blush, like I said, but I don't like the way the pans are, and I, yeah, think the highlighter's too dark for me, so, yeah. Three stars because, I mean, the products, I do like some of them. And I can't speak for the lash primer because I forgot to use it. That being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope if you're new here, you'll consider subscribing to my channel. I hope everyone will give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching my video. Sorry Thomas woke up. I've been doing good about voiceovers and filming while he's asleep. And he's fixing to turn on the waterworks, so I'll stop filming. And then once I stop filming, he's perfectly fine. So don't feel too bad for him. He's a con artist. <laughs> he's a little con. Anyway, I hope you're having a wonderful night or day whenever you decided to watch this. Lots of love for me and Thomas to all of you. And we will see you on the next Teresa Tries Tutorials. Bye, guys.